When you look at what would be a key to making the Browns have a successful season, what do you think it is? If you were going to say, Browns need to do this in order to, to achieve or overachieve, however you look at it, and, and find the playoffs. I think it's professionalism. It's prof- They have talent. They have talent. I mean, look at, look at what they have on the offensive side. They have all the weapons in the world. But Baker, people don't, they get upset with me about this, Dave. Baker doesn't have to be that great. Baker needs to be efficient. He needs to be, and this is such an ugly name to say, but I'm going to say it, he needs to be Ryan Tannehill. He needs to be efficient. Mm -hmm. He needs to turn around and hand it off to his Pro Bowl caliber, all pro caliber running back. I think he's one of the most underrated players in the NFL just because he doesn't talk, talking about Nick Chubb. He needs to turn around and hand it off to him. He needs to, to be aware of things in his head and what calls to make. I think that he was put in a horrific situation last year. Freddie Kitchens is a good guy. And good to be around. He is a terrible head coach. And he proved that last year. And I think they need just some professionalism that doesn't look at the clock and freak out. Because I'm I'm actually, and I swear to you, I'm watching week four Baltimore-Cleveland right now on my TV in my office. Nothing got in the way that, that game. And so they were able to run and do efficient things because they didn't get flustered. Freddie was easily frustrated, flustered. And when he's flustered, your young quarterback, your offense, who hasn't spent a whole lot of time together, they're going to get flustered as well. Kevin Stefanski needs to be a professional because that'll trickle down to Baker. That'll trickle down to the rest of the offense. Odell Beckham Jr. just craves professional leadership. That offense craves professional leadership. Then the defense will follow suit. The defense should be better, hopefully, because you'll minimize turnovers. So you won't be turning over the ball in your own uh, uh, on your side of the 50 as much. And so your defense should look better just because your offense just should be way better than what it was in 2019. Last year was such a nightmare with any decent professional coaching job. I hate to overuse that word. They should have been a borderline wild card team or a wild card team if that. And especially with an extra playoff spot this year, they definitely should be that this season. 